Have you ever wondered how we discovered the far-flung icy world of Pluto? In the year 1930, a young astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh, fueled by Percival Lowell's quest for a ninth planet, made a groundbreaking discovery. The method? A series of photographic plates meticulously compared over time to spot the subtle movement of this elusive celestial body. No fancy gadgets, no advanced telescopes, just an immense amount of patience and a keen eye for detail. So, the distant Pluto was found not with advanced technology but with patience and a keen eye. But did you know that Pluto's status as a planet was short-lived? The astronomical community began to question Pluto's planetary status after discovering similarly sized objects in the distant Kuiper Belt. This sparked a debate. What really defines a planet? The matter was put to rest in 2006 when the International Astronomical Union made a decision. They reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet, not a planet in the traditional sense. So poor Pluto was demoted, causing uproar among many who'd grown up with nine planets. So, what's Pluto up to now? Well, let me tell you, it's been a busy time for this little world. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons mission gave us our first close-up look at Pluto, revealing a fascinating landscape. To everyone's surprise, this tiny celestial body boasted towering mountains and sprawling glaciers. Even more astonishing was the discovery of a thin, hazy atmosphere, proving that Pluto was every bit as dynamic and complex as any planet. But what about its status? The debate still rages on. Many argue that Pluto's intricate geology and atmosphere warrant its reclassification as a full-fledged planet. Yet others maintain that its size and location in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy bodies beyond Neptune, justify its classification as a dwarf planet. So whether it's a planet or a dwarf planet, Pluto remains a fascinating and mysterious world, far from our sun.